Hi, I'm Alex Aguirre at GoFoil. I wanted to do a quick uh, tip on how to get rid of the noise out of your wings. Usually it's in the tail wing that is making the noise. So here's what I've done. I've grabbed a Maliko tail wing. And the reason that the tail wings are make noise more than the front wings is because it's a smaller chord area. We call this the chord, the distance from the front to the back of the trailing edges and, le and leading edge here. This distance here, it's hard for the water to attach on the flow. So the smaller this cord is, the harder it is to get rid of the noise. Now what I do is, I take the lifting side of the tail wing or the front wing. You have to remember that a tail wing is like this. This, this is, the lifting side is going the opposite of your front wing. Front wing, the lifting side is going up when, you're, when this board is upside down. This one is going down and basically what these two lifting surfaces they balance against each other so you have some you know way to know where the foil is going up and down if you turn this thing upside down and the lifting surface is going the same as this one it's a way harder to balance your your foil so what we do is the lifting side of your wing you put a 45 degree angle on it now i've got a flat file here it's a half round but i'm using the flat side put some 60 grit sandpaper on it and I put a 45 degree angle on the trailing edge from the lifting side is the shorter side the non-lifting side is the longer side so try and do the whole thing from the tip to tip get it at at least a 45 degree angle with your 60 grit and then you'll feel that there might be a little bit of roughness here with the paint so I'll finish it with 150 grit. So do the same thing with some 150 and just kind of lightly get rid of that, that uh, you know, the extra little paint that you might develop. And what you'll see is there's like a little reveal here that'll show like a, a millimeter, millimeter and a half of where I've turned this thing totally on a 45 degree angle. So when we're looking at this flat tail wing, you see the rounded side is facing the opposite of this side so if i thought it was the front wing i would sand this at a 45 degree angle the back wing i sand the opposite way because the round sides on the lifting side is opposite of the front wing so 45 degree angle this way 45 degree angle this way start with 60 try and get it flat i like to take this wing totally off of the pedestal to get it it's easier to sand tip to tip and then finish it off with at least 150 to get that kind of smooth in case you have some paint uh, paint kind of per curls up when you're sanding. So just kind of remove any kind of roughness. Now we'll take this off. And what you want to do is you want to sand the rounder side, which is the lifting side of your tail wing. Usually the tail wing makes all of the noise. Front wings rarely make the noise. Now. This is your Maliko tail wing. It goes like this. This is the pedestal. The pedestal will be like this. This is the lifting side, the rounder side, the rounder side on your Maliko. So what you do is you can take a block or a flat file wrapped with 60 grit and take it down the trailing edge of your side. You take the lifting side will be the shorter side. So you're going this way and not the opposite direction and go all the way down from tip to tip, and you see how I've got this at a 45 degree angle like this. We're trying to get this fairly flat so it's kind of a very smooth 45 degree angle. You can see there's a couple little burrs in here. So what I like to do is hit it with 60 grit first, then take some 150. 150. Smooth out some of the gritty, you know, you'll have paint will start to curl up or whatever. Clean it up with at least 150. You can go down to whatever grit you want, but at least go to 150. Then do a little tiny cleanup right on those two edges just to get this smooth. Feel it with your finger and see if you feel any, anything that's burring up. Try and get rid of it. Now the other thing, if this gets too sharp on you, do a little bit of dulling it up by going totally 90 degrees and just turn a little bit of that sharpness into a, a dull it out a little bit but basically you see how this is 
45 degree angle on the lifting side of the tail wing. Lifting side is facing this way. Lifting side on this way, if you wanted to sand this one, it would be like this. Don't sand the other way. Sand from the lifting side is the shorter side of your sand job. Okay, now once I've sanded this all down, I'll go and test it. If it, if it get, it should definitely get a little bit quieter. If it's not totally quiet, try and do it again. Do a little bit more of an angle on it. Clean it all up again. Just try and get it nice and straight. Don't have it all wobbling all over the place. And then try it again and that usually clears it all up. Now as you can see, there's a little bit of a reveal here. When we sand it, you'll see there's about a sixteenth of an inch or between one to two millimeters of a little bit of a reveal. You can see where it's, you can see the sand job on here. Don't, you know, sand it to where it's a giant, you know, eighth inch. It'll probably still work, but you don't have to go that crazy. The main thing is that to get this kind of nice and straight, if it doesn't get rid of it all the way, turn it a little bit more and try it again. And then kind of just barely touch it to get rid of your paint uh, the paint that's curling up while you're sanding it, but this is an easy way to sand it and you don't have to the, the old way I used to sand I would sand this whole trailing edge in the other side to get a clean clean release Then I'd have to repaint it now. I found that I just put 45 degree angles on And you'll get rid of the most of the humming noise or totally have it silent 